we've got a lot of wheat in our area, so the, it, it tends to harbor the thrips pretty long. And then about June, all the wheat's dying, the wheat in the corners are dying, and all the thrips start heading into the cotton. That's a big thing for us early. And if we hit uh, our Roundup Springs early, we go ahead and spray for thrips because we, we can't afford you know, a three-day gap there, they'll, they'll annihilate you. Bollworms is another issue for us. You know, we have corn, so we have the earworms. And uh, those are really our two main ones. Just look for moth, moth activity. Uh, we have the moth traps on the edges of the field, so you can kind of see more of a pattern, more than just numbers. You're seeing it ramp up quickly or uh, you're seeing a lot of moths, but just not a lot of eggs. It's a little bit of an art to it. As much as science you can put into it, it's, it's still just a little bit of an art. because so we do have a lot of, of beneficials. So it's a really fine line to, to gauge whether to go ahead and spray the bad ones and, and knock back your beneficials or just let the whole system work on its own.